take a look at some more uh, bleaches. Uh, tractors. Oh, there's a loader. Is that a decent loader or not? Twenty-six thousand dollars. I think it's kind of a derpy one, but you know I could sell it when I don't need it anymore. I wonder if that's the cheapest one there is. I should go to the mods and see. If Front loaders. Seventeen thousand. That's more than the other one, isn't it? Fork. I don't even see a pallet loader on this one. Front loader. Front loader fork. There's no pallet fork on this one. Well, that stinks. Here's a cute little harvester of corn or a really chopping maize to chaff. Really? Okay. Tipper. Cultivator. There's only one kind of cultivator I like, too. The others suck. Air spreader I'm going to eventually... Oh, these old, old slurry tanks. I'm not going to get those. They just don't seem like a good bet at all. This seems like kind of an interesting loading wagon. How much it holds. Does it? Let's see. Uh, loading and transporting grass, hay, straw, or chaff. Does that mean it's self-loading? Self-loading forage wagon allows you to gather mowed grass and transport it to the feeding trough in the cow meadow. I wonder if you can uh, put straw on it and drop it off at the at the, uh, the straw place at the farm and make money off of that. Bailing technology. Well, not so much. That's some pretty old bailing technology. Miscellaneous tractors. Placeable mods. This is a mod that I like. Uh, the floodlight, although you have to turn it on every time you come on. The straw power plant you can make a little money at, but it's kind of a derpy to... I don't understand... Oh. Used to store the sugar beets on fields. Now that I maybe maybe should do someday. No sales. That's what I own. Two of your 6135. Far combine 66. Our cutter. The Krona Emslin trailer. Or Krona. Lemkin Crystal 9 cultivator. I don't know how you say that with the amount of putting your circle 35. I get to butcher some German names mostly. Amazon D1. And is that, that's it. Oh, I own two extra weights. Oh, where are the other? Oh, those are, must be on the yellow tractors. I'll put that up. Okay, now I got that one. Alright. Okay, back to farming. It's so long since I started Hogginshed, I do not remember the order of things that I purchased and when. Um, but I I bought a small combine, and I thought, well, I'll probably be selling this later on when I get bigger ones, but I kept it the whole time, so I always found a place to use it. Um, there's always some small fields somewhere, or you can keep it around the farm and use it as a backup if you get behind on something, I guess. Oh, yeah. Field yet? No, not really. I wonder how much another, another tipper is. I should see if I can afford one so I can sell some stuff. No, I can't. <laughs> I gotta sell stuff before I can afford to sell stuff. Before two. Well, that'd give me a big, huge boost there, wouldn't it? I wonder if the, uh... If I really, really like... Yeah, here's what I use. Almost ex... I use for selling. In Hagenstedt, actually. It just has to be up there. I use the Siga Uno you can attach regular semi-trailers to your trailer. To a tractor? No, I don't need that. Forage transport trailer. 
Marshall Tipper. Didn't have much capacity. It's coming around out of Ursus. Okay. This is the one that I, I mean, this is my goal. And I gotta figure out where, um, I wonder if that's under miscellaneous, the, uh, the tractor for that. There's a lizard truck to go with that. I love that combination. That is just awesome. So. Okay. Let's see how we're doing on. I think I'm going to have to empty this and go sell some uh, canola. Uh, make some money. So I can buy another trailer. Because this is moving kind of slow. We should also go field when it's 17. And uh, see how much that costs so I can start saving up to buy that. Because that's the next field I want to buy. That will get me into the farming business pretty big time. You're watching Tenacious Viking plays Farming Simulator 2013 West Ridge Hill. Just starting out, I'm, I'm not even an hour into this yet. Whoa. Um, harvesting my first field. Trying to finagle a way to get another trailer so I can start to sell some stuff even while I'm harvesting. For my next trick, I'm going to drive over to the field across the hall, the hall across the road. Oops, nope, down. Well, wouldn't hurt to find out how much this one costs either, because this is definitely the next one on my list. But mostly I want to get field 17. And I want to see how much it costs. Another pallet fork. Give me a mowing one. Do we have mowing jobs on this thing? I guess I have to go every five minutes so I have a better chance of... These fields are going to be so expensive to start out with. Oh my gosh, I may have to buy 10 before I can afford to buy 17. Purchase field, $198,000. Oh my gosh. Let's go find out how much field 10 is, shall we? Now, why is this... Oh, they built this stupid building here just to screw up this field, didn't they? I hate that. I hate it a lot. One field like that in August of two. Well, do what you gotta do, I guess. To review again, my goal in this team is to get enough extra sources of income that I can make money even while I have higher gains uh, doing some of the farming. I never have to worry about money again. That is a speed limit sign here. I don't have to worry about that. 
There is the middle of this. Oh my goodness, that's a long field. Stop, so all I have to do is get out and it oh it is it's right there hey I'm getting good at this 117,000 okay that's a lot better well not a lot better but it's better so at least 117,000 oh missed um, to get another field which I really 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 need If you haven't seen anybody else play Farming Simulator, uh, I recommend you uh, go find Doc M77. He's the one I watched that got me inspired to get the game. I mean, it was a pretty easy sell for me, but, uh, but it was fun to watch him and, and learn from him and what he did and how he did it. I'm going to start this guy out and really lose money fast. i got to stay on my toes so that the uh, combine stays ahead of the, uh, the harvester, stays ahead of the cultivator. Yeah, it looks like uh, canola to the flour mill is the way to go here to make some good money. <laughs> no idea what the flour mill is. I'm making all this up. Okay, flour mill, flour mill, flour mill. Oh, that's okay. That's just around the corner. Up the road, it's past the sheep pasture. I want to see the sheep. Whoa, I want to see the sheep pasture. Anyway. So, as soon as I uh, get a load of uh, wheat and unload it, I'm going to grab some canola and sell it. Let's see if we can start buying some things. In the meantime, I'm going to switch to settings and uh, change mission frequencies to every two minutes until I get my first mowing one. Make some money. I should guess while you're watching the cultivator, I should guess where um, looks like drive in theater or the baseball field. Hmm. Oh, there's a curvy road right there. Cow. Long curvy road. Shoot. Oh boy. I'm going to guess the baseball field is where the first mowing job is going to be. Anyways, that's my that's my idea. Oh, I should see how much I'm switch to the combine. Um, see how much a uh, what's the cheapest I can get a. Uh, Hay wagon, <laughs> for lack of a better term. I don't know if those are some category. Mowers. 
you see, all those motors are really expensive. You, know, just, you can't afford to have them and keep them. Why do we have so much screaming going on? Oh my goodness. Loading wagons. There we go. Uh, boy. Hmm. I think this might be the one I had, but it's really expensive. Maybe I started with this one. Multi-purpose loading and transporting grass, hay, straw, and chaff. Boy, that's a lot to spend on something I won't use very much. Building technology. I love this auto stack, but this one transports around or square bales. This, this this is the round baler. So this is a square baler, I think, yep. Transporting round or square bales. How do you transport round bales on that? Wow, that does not look very good. Here's a cheaper round baler. A round bale wrapper. Hmm. Okay, didn't know we had that. Self-loading bale trailer. That's for, is that for the ground? Okay, the whole stack of buses are large quantities of bales. I don't, I don't know. I don't think it is. If it, if it doesn't say around bale, it's probably not. Diesel technology bales. Miscellaneous. Okay, I need to get back to here. All right. Uh, the drive-ins, parking ground, the theater. The dire need of a mowing job. All right, let's do it. Blinking green marker, right there. We need to mow the grass and can leave the hay if we do not need it. Okay, I will do that. But first, I should have time to pick up this green. Oh, some of it anyway. Great. See, everything all happens at once. Whoa! That was a little careless. Oh god. Uh, I do not like backing this. Nope. I hate this trailer. I'm not going to try to back this trailer. There's too many moving parts. So I'm going to come around and do it right this time. Okay, in the meantime, find the... This is going to take a while. <laughs> This is the uh, grindiest this will be because I'll leave this there and just uh, grab it and do mowing make the money. And I'll buy another more like this one and uh, take that up to the ball field. I'm pretty sure uh, the other mowing jobs will be. I like that they put a little circle on where, you want, where they want you to mold because there are a couple of different places in each, uh, each spot. So I've seen this one before. On the way to my first mowing job, and I really kind of need it. Had a chance to sell them to me. I don't too busy harvesting. Oh, I have to 
hill there. Go, but I don't see where it wants me to go. 